beauty bump. This was a YouTube Red series released back in spring 2016 with mixed reception. It was about Felix exploring terrifying situations based on horror games he himself played on his channel. In June 2016, it was announced that the web series was renewed for a second season, this time with some interesting changes. Titled Scare PewDiePie Multiplayer, Felix would team up with fellow gamer Jack Septiguy and other well known YouTubers would join in. One of these was Ethan Klein, who detailed his experiences of season two on his podcast. Filming began not too long after it spanned over the month of November, but before the season could be released, some controversy emerged. In January, he released his well known Fiverr video, which some saw as anti Semitic. The story was extended by the Wall Street Journal, and many larger entities would distance themselves from PewDiePie. Maker Studios canceled the show to the dismay of many. In March, Felix teased releasing the first episode on his Twitter, which received over 100,000 retweets before being deleted. But instead, he released a fake, as it turns out he is legally unable to share footage. Since then, no new info has come out about it. But what's puzzling to many is that even with Logan Paul's controversy a year later, his YouTube original movie eventually came out. to 
make science comparisons of various entities in our known universe. We actually don't know much about the person from Earth besides the fact that they are in their early to late teens. We never hear their voice, just text to speech. If that, as it's sometimes just text on the screen. Sometime in 2013, the channel was deleted, leaving 13 of the 14 videos lost forever. The only one still floating around is called Science of the Universe 3 in the Deeper Field. This happened to be the most popular video on the channel, only to have reached 130,000 views. seven of them. They are Sides of the Universe 1, Sides of the Universe 2, Zoom Out in 30 Seconds, Journey Through the Universe, Power of 10 Zoom Out, The Universe Home Video, and Nebru. And most of these aren't the exact titles either. Medtronic. The gamer and commentator actually has a whole series of videos that went missing. During 2014, Chad made a series in which he plays virtual reality games due to the unclosed rip. But this kind of content stopped, but mainly when his reaction videos became more popular and he wanted to focus less on gaming. It's actually unknown why he took these down, though. On May 5th, 2017, Chad announced that he would upload a few of these to his Patreon, and others would be found through other various means. As of now, 15 VR videos have been located, but another 7 are still missing. These are playthroughs of F-Zero GX, F-Zero GX First Person Racing Mod, Banjo Kazooie, a Mario Kart prototype, Pokemon VR, Super Mario 64, Princess Peach's Castle gameplay, and Super Mario 64 VR. Chad has had other videos go missing, but they usually tend to be found. So many hope that the same thing will happen for the rest of the series. Derek Savage. This is the infamous creator of Cool Cat Saves the Kids. An incredibly awful movie multiple online reviewers have picked apart. And Derek seemed fine with this, with him even trying to work with Your Movie Sucks. But something changed in him, and he started trying to take down YouTube reviews of the movie. His main target was a British YouTuber named I Hate Everything, who posted his Cool Cat video on November 6, 2015. Only three days later, Derek placed a copyright claim, which got him a strike. The two tried to negotiate, but nothing really happened. During all of this, Derek uploaded a video titled Derek Savage Copyright Infringement vs. Fair Use, in which he loosely explained fair use by reading off various articles. During this, he tried to make fun of IHE and bash other critics. And at the end, he warned us of a part two that would be posted the next day. So, you know, listen to what I'm saying here. Guys, this is part one. Part two is coming tomorrow. And now you know who to direct your hate toward. And it's not Cool Cat. So get busy. And in the meantime, be sure to get your Cool Cat Saves the Kids feature film. Yet, because of the backlash, that never happened. And he never will, especially after Your Movie Sucks did a hit piece on it. Adam goes on to disprove the video and shows off how hypocritical the man is. Derek would end up dropping the copyright claim after failing to scam IEG. He pretended to be a law firm and attempted to scare Alex into deleting more videos. He deleted part one and part two has never been released. Plus, we aren't even sure if it was even ever filmed. But it might have, given the short amount of time he gave himself. Parts of it at least might be done. We may never know. Wayne Rock 124. Run by King Liang, this channel has been around since 2011, meaning a lot of deleted videos. In this content, King is mainly known for smashing things vlogging, and weird satirical shit, but some of his earlier series are a bit harder to find. One was a video called Mr. Krabs Watches Price Tag, which is a YouTube poop link to the Jesse J song. Then there was a series in 2012 called He and F's Rules of the Road Parody, which were just weird kitties and fur videos. There's also some information in game in a live stream titled Staying in a Haunted Hotel for 12 Hours Live Part 6. The user asked about a video called Ford Smashing VHS Tapes. King smashed two cheap cassettes, one for Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and the other for Charlotte's Web 2. Those are moved due to the inclusion of copyrighted music. Daniel Powder's Bad Day. Sucks, bro. A couple other smashing videos were removed, like a special one called Schools Out Plus Giveaway, where he gives away a bookmark and smashes school supplies. A lot of other weird earlier videos are missing too, but those are just not as interesting. Baker. This man used to be one of the biggest names on YouTube. He got millions of views with the song parodies, and was signed with Maker Studios, reached 10 million subscribers, and appeared in YouTube Rewind three times. But as of 2018, we really have no idea what this man is up to. He actually has a few of his older videos still up, but some of his parodies were removed by him. His parodies of Kanye West's Bound 2, Rihanna's Pour It Up, and Pitbull's International Love show art and blackface. Yet the trailer for the latter is still up on his channel for some as others are removed just due to how weird they are even to him. He also made some vlog videos in 2018, two of which he removed. 
youtube.com slash fuck. This was the hilarious URL made by Thomas Ridgewell back in 2011. If you don't know who that is, he's the creator behind Astiff Movies and various other projects on the channel Tomska. So to look up the channel back in the day, you'd have to use the F-bomb, but the URL was only used until 2012, as YouTube and themselves took it down. And apparently, various other videos from the time period was removed as well. Over 50 fan videos were deleted, along with over 10 of Thomas's video having the same thing happen. Another video from him that is lost was made for the Play With Oreos campaign. The company themselves didn't like what Thomas had written for them, as they saw it as too violent. The only surviving footage is from behind the scenes video. channel dating back to 2010, well known for edits and parodies of Doctor Who. A lot of their editing techniques were unique at the time, incorporating decent CGI and rotoscoping. This content was up for years, but the channel mysteriously disappeared in 2017. The only full video found is The Five Doctors Part 1, which was re-uploaded in poor quality. Flight of the Darn was found within a fan compilation of other Doctor Who related channels. All others are completely lost, besides some pretty detailed descriptions by fans. The Five Doctors Part 2 has most of its scenes detailed, which you can find online. There's an untitled video, which is a re-edited version of Doctor Who in the Solarians Episode 4, which, where we see the third Doctor die in a comedic fashion with goofy sound effects. There is also Goodbye Tom, which is the regeneration scene from Legopolis, but much more strange, as the fourth Doctor sees various random characters. With all the other videos, we really don't know anything. Monkey Jones. This man is obviously one of the most interesting YouTubers ever. He's been through hell and back on this platform throughout the years. Here on behalf of Roger, so, I mean, Roger reclaimed his property. I don't know what the fuck Roger did to help with Legend of the Titanic, but hats off to you, Roger. That's now back in your court. That ball is right back in your court, my friend. Skyanir2007, this older creator posted a variety of content based on Around the Channel BBS. This involved archiving their logos and. Okay, Dad. E.E. But why now? I will make a new video later. Bye.